you welcome back this is mr hassan's mass channel and i'm now answering question number four part b and c from this um may june 2021 paper four variant three from the igcse cambridge um exam and this question here is about vectors it says um, the position vector of p is negative 2 3 and the position vector of q is negative 2 5 find the vector from p to q now the position vector of a point means the vector from the origin to that point so this is the vector o to p basically that's what they're telling you to get from o to p you got to go negative 2 3 and they're telling you that this is the vector from o to q which is negative 2 and 5 so if you want to find the vector from p to q okay basically it's pretty simple now in this case we could actually make a little sketch of it and you'll see how easy this is if that's the origin um, we know that the vector from o to p is negative 2 and 3 so it's going to be up here somewhere make that a bit thinner in fact i'll, I'll put it it's a bit lower so it's a bit more space to deal with it so that's negative 2 and 3. And the ve that's going to be the point P. I'm just doing a rough kind of sketch here. That's a vector from O to P. And from O to Q is negative 2 and 5. So you can see that it's going to be basically just in line with it, just slightly higher up. Okay, so that's going to be O to Q. Okay, and we want to find the vector from P to Q. So it's just going straight up. We can see that. All right, it's just going straight up. Okay, they have the same, you know, they're basically right on top of each other. They're both two units away on the left from the origin, um, but one is higher up. So basically to get from P to Q, you've got to go 0, 2. Okay, that's a visual way of doing it. Another way you can think about doing it is if you want to find the vector from P to Q, you've got to go from P to O and then from O to Q. Now P to O is the same as the opposite of O to P. So it's the same as 2 three and then you got to add to that from o to q which is minus two five okay minus two five so that's two sorry two negative three you have to do the opposite there's two negative three p to o is is the opposite so it's going to be two negative three and o to q is the same as it is two my negative two five and when you add these together you're going to get zero and minus five plus minus three plus five is two so that's like a more kind of mathematical way of doing it and this is like a visual way of doing it. So there's the answer to question uh, part B of question four from this paper. Now to question part two. That's B part one and B part two now. It says R is the point such that P to R is three times P to Q. Find the position vector of R. So the position vector of R is from O to R. So we want to go from O to R. Okay. So we know that P to R is 3 times p to q which is 3 times the vector we just found 3 times 0 2 which is 0 6 that's the vector from p to r and we know o to r is what we're trying to find is going to be o to p plus p to r okay o to p plus p to r because we know p to r is 3 times p to q so if you want to go from, if I just continue this diagram, um, we can see here that P to R is going to be just basically a lot further up here. It's going to be O to P plus P to R. Okay, so P to R, so O to P we know already from here is negative 2, 3. And P to R we know is 0, 6. So you're going to get negative 2 and 9. So negative 2, 9 is the answer to that part of the question. So that's question 4, part B, 1 and 2, kind of like column vectors. Now for part C, which is more vector geometry, it says here, um, O to T is the vector T, O to U is the vector U, and U, Y is 2 times Y, T. So this is like two parts, this is like one part, three parts all together. Find O to Y in terms of T and U. So we've got to find the vector that takes us from O to Y, which is this vector here, which is basically O to Y is going to be equal to O to U plus 
u to y. All right, so we know this is u, and now u to y, okay, um, is going to be, we know that u to y is going to be two-thirds of u to t. We can see that u to y is two parts out of three of u to t, which is two-thirds of, now from u to t, is minus u plus t. Or you can say t minus u. Okay, minus u plus t. That's the vector u to y. Okay, so now we can say O to y, therefore, is going to be O to u, which is u, plus two-thirds times t minus u. So we have to simplify this, so we express things in terms, uh, in the simplest form. So we have to expand that bracket, so it's u plus two-thirds of t minus two-thirds of u. So u minus two-thirds of u is going to be one-third of u plus two-thirds of t. And there's the answer to that question, one-third of u plus two-thirds of t. Now, we could try to see if that, you know, helps us. One-third of u plus two-thirds of t. It looks like we're heading in the right direction. So you can see if I go, if I, if I do one-third of u, about a third of the way up this line, and then I'm going to go two-thirds of t. It looks, it looks just about right. We're going into the right, the right area. So we can see visually if we're, I mean, if our vector gives us or takes us somewhere out here or down there, we know that we're kind of like not in the right area. So there's something wrong. It seems like this is fine. All right, so next question. Okay, it says Z is on OT and YZ is parallel um, to U, OU. Okay, so you're going to have a, a line here, which is parallel to this line. So I'll just do this to make sure it's parallel. So that line here is Z is at this point here. These lines are parallel to each other. Okay. We've got to find O to Z in terms of T and or U. Okay. So we've got to find... Um, now, again, here we can use some sort of similarity. Okay. Let me just get rid of this line here. We can use some sort of similarity. I can't get rid of that line now. Um, yes, I can. Let me make this line and put it in the color white. That will get rid of it. Okay. All right. So we have basically here... Um, we have a triangle like this. This big triangle here. All right, and then we have another triangle, this small triangle over here. Now, those two triangles are similar, okay, because these lines are parallel. So this angle is the same as this angle. This angle is the same as this angle. Of course, these are common angles in both. So you got, you got, you can say triangle U T O is similar to triangle um, Y T Z. Y T Z. They're similar triangles. And I can see the ratio of the sides is 1 to 3. Okay, is 1 to 3. Okay, so I can see here that the vector from O to Z, of course it's going to be in terms of T. Okay, I can see that um, this is like one part and this is like two parts. There's three parts altogether. So O to Z is going to be two-thirds. It's going to be two-thirds of the whole length. So it's going to be two-thirds of T. Okay, O to Z, um, O to Z is going to be basically um, a, a multiple, of, of, sorry, a fraction of O to T. So it's two thirds of. I'll write it. I'll write it a bit more clearly. Two thirds of O to T, because the ratio of the sides is two to one. Okay, because this is three parts. This is one part. So O to Z is two parts out of three. So it's going to be O to Z is two thirds of the vector T. And there's the answer to part two of this question. The fact that these lines are parallel means these are similar triangles. So you have a big triangle and you have a small triangle which are similar. The ratio of the sides is two to one as they told us in the first part of the question. So therefore, O to Z is two thirds of T. Um, pretty simple, only one mark. Um, and you don't have to write all this stuff down here. Okay, you can just assume that 
you realize it's, it's similar without proving it, it's fine. Okay, so there's the answer to that question. That concludes this question, which is four parts B and C of the May, June 2021 um, Cambridge Paper 4 Variant 3 exam. Uh, thank you for watching. Other questions from this paper will be collected in the playlist that should appear in this region here. Other questions about vectors from IGCSE work can be collected or can be found in the playlist over here. You can subscribe to my channel by clicking on this link. And in the description, you can find an index for IGCSE as well as A-level um, questions in co according to topic and paper uh, that you might find useful and you might want to share with your friends. Thank you for watching and see you soon.